North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has departed Vietnam following the breakdown of his summit with U.S. President Donald Trump. Kim's journey home on his private armored train is expected to take more than 60 hours. It comes amid fresh controversy over the case of Otto Warmbier, an American student who was detained and tortured in North Korea. Warmbier was returned to his family in the U.S. in a vegetative state in 2017, and he died days later. President Donald Trump has said he's confident Kim did not know about it. The two countries insist they'll continue dialogue despite the failed summit. Well, for more on all this, I'm joined in the studio now by Bernd Berger. He's an Asia expert at the German Council on Foreign Relations. Mr. Berger, thank you so much for being here. So once Donald Trump uh, abruptly departed Hanoi, uh, the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un stepped into the spotlight. We saw him laying wreaths. He was meeting uh, with uh, Vietnamese uh, officials. What kind of image was he trying to convey? Well, I think, first of all, he was as surprised as everyone else was that this summit was suddenly over. Um, what he did was he used the opportunity to pay a goodwill visit to Vietnam, North Korea and, and Vietnam have long-standing relations. They have even modest trade and due to the sanctions, of course, restricted. And then they will, of course, sit together and see how they can cooperate in the future and, and have visits, like symbolic visits to the grave of uh, former leaders. Well, Donald Trump said he left the summit uh, because North Korea was demanding complete sanctions relief. Uh, North Korean officials then immediately denied it. We saw them calling quite a rare press conference even to deny this. So who do we believe and where do negotiations go from here? Well, the new openness of the North Korean leadership is, is um, also demonstrates that they're baffled and they really want to set things straight. And if you look at the consultations that happened before and the whole process that is underway, it's obvious that they have not actually demanded full sanctions relief, but going for a step-by-step -step approach where, first of all, economic sanctions for the common people are lifted. So the question is really what the American administration is, is doing right now and what kind of strategy or tactics they're applying. Well, there's also been quite a backlash in the U.S. over what Donald Trump said regarding the case of Otto Warmbier, of course, the American student who died after 17 months in North Korean detention. Um, he said Kim Jong-un was unaware of what was going on. How likely is that? Well, one would think in a small state with a small town like Pyongyang, everyone would know what's going on. But one also has to emphasize that Warmbier was not a in detention for political reasons. It was due to misconduct under heavy influence of alcohol. So I don't know if there was a big um, political decision behind detaining him and, 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 and oversight. All right. Bernd Berger, an Asia expert at the German Council on Foreign Relations. Many thanks indeed. Thank you.